guest is a popular stand-up comedian from London, uh, London, England. He can be seen at the Montreal Comedy Festival, July 15th to the 20th in Montreal, Canada. Please welcome Jimmy Carr. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. <laughs> we'll move on, shall we? <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted me to tease her. I said, all right, fatty. <laughs> Hush now, there's a lot to get through. I was doing a gig a couple of weeks ago. I got talking to a girl in the front row. I asked her her name. She said, it's Pataka. I said, that's an unusual name. You don't hear that every day. To which she replied, actually, I do. <laughs> come, come back. My girlfriend sat me down recently for one of those serious relationship conversations where she talked at me for about three hours. <laughs> and she said to me, she said, Jimmy, we're at a crossroads in our relationship, and, and down one road is hard work and commitment but ultimately, happiness. And down the other road, well, the other road is a dead end. And I said, that's not a crossroads, that's a T-junction. <laughs> if we're all God's children, what's so special about Jesus? Now, of course, you may be wondering about my accent. Of course, technically, I don't have an accent. I'm from England. <laughs> this is just how things sound when they're pronounced properly. <laughs> my girlfriend's reading a book at the moment. It's one of these American New Age things. I don't know if you will have seen it. It's called Women That Love Too Much, which I think could have the title shortened to sluts. <laughs> I bought my girlfriend a book called Cheap and Easy Vegetarian Cooking, which is ideal for her because not only is she a vegetarian... <laughs> boxers, boxers don't have sex before a fight. Do you know why that is? They don't fancy each other. The reason old men use Viagra is not because they're impotent. It's because old women are so very ugly. <laughs> Cats have got nine lives, which makes them ideal for experimentation. Watching sex on telly with mum and dad, that's embarrassing. I didn't even know they knew how to use the camcorder. <laughs> A very common male fantasy is to have two women at the same time. One to cook, one to clean, right? <laughs> now, I live quite near a remedial school. There's a sign outside. It says, slow children. <laughs> I thought, well, that can't do much for their self-esteem. <laughs> but look on the positive side. Of course, they can't read it. <laughs> I've got a friend. She's got a theory. She reckons the way to drive a man wild with desire is to nibble on his earlobes for hours and hours. I think it's nuts. When it comes to charity, a lot of people will stop at nothing. There's a joke there if you look. I saw a charity appeal a couple of weeks ago in the newspaper and it read, little Zuki has to walk 15 miles every day just to fetch water. And I couldn't help thinking, she should move. I 
I would like to leave you, ladies and gentlemen, with this frightening fact. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. If you took all the money that we in the West spend on food in one week, you could feed the third world for one year. Now, I don't know about you good people, but I can't help feeling we're being overcharged for our groceries. <laughs> I've Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed. Good night. Jimmy Carr! Great job, Jimmy Carr. Thank you. Jimmy, very funny, very funny. Terrific, Ooh. terrific job. Be right back with Train right after this. Jimmy Carr. <laughs>